Hey Cancers, how are you guys? I am Phoenix Rising. If you're hearing my voice, you're watching my freaking channel, right? I, I, I smashed my finger, don't worry about that. Anyway, um, if you're new, you're new Cancer, you can click like, subscribe, and share me if you're a returning Cancer. And uh, this is a general read. So um, this is for all Cancer, single couples, it don't matter. You know, it's for, you know, it's for, it's for whoever has Cancer in their birth chart. Or if there is a cancer, okay? Take what resonates, throw the rest away. If it doesn't apply, you simply let the shit fly out the window. Um, my children are cooking breast eggs and my maintenance man is in and out because he's fixing my bathroom. So I just, I got to get the downloads out because they're coming so fast. I got to, I got to just start. So I'm starting anyway. So the very first download I got, I thought they kept saying, oh, Andy, right? So I'm over here like, come in. And I'm like, okay, what's Andy? What's Andy? They're saying, oh, Mandy. So it's a song by Barry Manilow. Um, and it's called Old Mandy. No, it's by Mar Barry Manilow. And it's just called Mandy. M-A-N-D-Y. Mandy. And in the song, um, he says, uh, well, you came and you gave without taking. And, but I sent you away. So whomever this is, you gave and you came and you gave to them without taking. And I guess uh, somebody else is taken away from them. And, and they're upset that they sent you away. It was one, two, three, four o'clock. So I'm not sure if um, this is a friend, a family member, a cousin, a job, but whoever this is, you you gave to them. Cause I had to Google the lyrics. Cause I was like, I don't listen to this. Like I'm not trying to front. I don't have a problem with Barry Manilow, but I don't listen to it. So whatever this job, this career, this uh, whatever this is, this religion, um, I don't know. Whatever you got going on, make sure you take your shoes off. Um, whatever you got going on is some type of, uh, situation where someone feels like you gave to them and you didn't take from them. And I think they took that for granted. And because they took that for granted, they're now dealing with a situation where they are getting someone that's taken from them versus them giving. And they're saying they shouldn't have sent you away. So I don't know if this is a job or a person that sent you away. Um, and then it, uh, let me turn it all the way down. So I got time for YouTube trying to monetize me. Hold on, y'all. And then he say, uh, well, you kissed me and stopped me from shaking. So, um, and I need you today. Oh, oh, Mandy. So whoever this is, I don't know. It could be a lover. That's why I said it could be a friend. It could be, or you, maybe you hug them. But whoever this is, you, um, offer them comfort or someone offers you comfort and you miss them. Okay. They kiss you and they stop you from shaking. So I don't know. Or, ooh, okay. All right, cancers. Let's get into this. <laughs> oh, Mandy. Your name could be Mandy. I don't know. Maybe someone called you Candy. All right. Spirit of the Most High, High Power Source. Give me messages for cancers, please. Uh, for Cancer General Read. For the collective that watched me. For the collective that will watch me, Spirit. Messages for cancers, please. Cancer. Zodiac sign. Cancer. General Love. No. General Read. Sorry. This is not career. This is not love. Higher Power Source of the Highest White Light. I ask that you protect me and bless me as I go in and out. Give me messages for cancers. Send your four corner angels, Gabriel, Raphael, Uriel, and Michael. Messages for cancer. All right, let's go. This is about miscommunication or communication. It could be uh, something about mis uh, somebody miscommunicated. You got the devil in reverse. This is detachment, okay? Somebody or someone that you could be trying to detach from. Someone that... Is an addiction or something that is an addiction. It could be a person, a place, a thing, something that you do. But there's some type of uh, detachment. This is you breaking free, Cancer. This is your energy. So you're standing in your power. This is Cancer Capricorn energy. I feel like you're standing in your power. You're like, fuck that. I'm done. I'm done drinking. I'm done smoking. I'm done with this job. I'm done with this relative. I'm done with this fucking spouse. I'm done. I'm detaching. Why is that here? For cancer. Maybe somebody know you is. And they, they, oh, Mandy, I can't sing. I can't sing worth a shit. But Mandy upset. And you feel like, um, this is some type of good luck you got coming your way. Whether you believe it or not, this is Leo, Scorpio, Taurus, Aquarius energy. This is good luck, exchange, good blessings. This could even be a soulmate, a perfect job. This is you own your money. This is you getting some money. This is the will of fortune. This is a cycle of bullshit. That ended. That's why they calling for Mandy. Because now they need your ass. And the cycle didn't end. And they like, oh, fuck. That was my good luck charm. 
Now you got and whoever this is backstabbed you emotionally. Okay? The Ten of Swords is here. This is Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. And then you got the Queen of Cups. This is emotional upheaval of uh, fake romance, fake love, fake friendship. Someone was faking it and you're detaching yourself because they backstabbed you. You're like, whoop that trick. Whoop that. No, I'm just saying, like, you're like, yeah, I'm over this shit. Yeah. It wasn't an equal give and take. Look, the Wheel of Fortune, they weren't equal give and take. Okay? And I feel like, um, you're manifesting a new beginning because of this. The magician is number one, putting yourself first. Uh, this is Gemini energy. This is definitely manifestation skills. Um, definitely paying attention. Or maybe you're manifesting something. You're manifesting money. You're manifesting something in love. You're manifesting. You're definitely manifesting. Why else is cancer here? Can I mean, give me other messages for cancer, General Reed. I'm sorry. I'm on the other side of the room because I'm not sitting over there. I'm tired. Okay, you got the star card. This is disappointment. Someone was your star and they disappointed you. The star went out. The light went out. Pride loss. Somebody with theft. Disappointment. Like whatever this is, this is Aquarius and this is something, someone or something that you're disappointed in. You're not happy with it, Cancer. Something you open, and whatever it is, is a new perspective you open up to. you like, oh, I'm releasing myself to freedom. This shit had me bone upon a week. But I'm getting over this shit. This releasing fears. Knowing the way forward. Fuck uh, you, my phone beat. You're like, uh-uh. Go that way. <laughs> that way. <laughs> okay? You got the strength card. This is in reverse. This is the uh, weak self-doubts. Okay? Some type of pity. You might have you might have felt pity for somebody. And your ass is being nice. And now, you, yeah, this is losing your heart. Discipline. Vain. You feel like you did something in vain. Something's in vain. you like... I heard somebody say, is my limit in vain? Hmm. Spirit said, of course not. Two of Cups. It's not all in vain. Okay? You got the Two of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Energy. Because after all, it's a turn of game. Here you go. I can't even hit the note. I wish I could, though. Damn, I be wishing. Don't you be wishing sometimes you could sing? Anyway. <laughs> I'm so retarded. Okay, look. Whoever this is that you got on your mind, maybe you releasing somebody and then you think about somebody else. Because I'm getting two different energies. So, I feel like your two of cups is what's on your mind. This is what's keeping you up at night. I'm getting a one one with the two and a nine. So, this is about parent, partnering decisions. Um, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. This is all about emotional. This is your ride or die, your Bonnie and Clyde, your Obama, your, uh, your Obama and... Uh, what's Obama's wife name, Jada? <laughs> The first lady. Uh -huh. Michelle. Never mind. I'm sorry. I drew a blank. Never mind. Michelle. This is, uh, uh, shit. Laverne and Shirley. Shit. I don't know. This is, um, Bonnie and Christy off of Moms. I don't know. Whoever. This is a father and son. The Wayans. Whoever you, your pair, your love, your soulmate could be your brother, sister, mother, cousin. It don't matter. Your lover. This is somebody that you fucks with. And the ten, the nine of swords is definitely worried anxiety. I feel like you might have did something that you worried about and you don't know if this person going to forgive you or maybe they worried about you forgiving them. Uh, this is like um, time heals all wounds. So for some of you, you ain't talked to this person in a while. Phone just beat. And you want to reach out to them. Reach out and touch someone's hand, Diana Ross said. Damn it. Touch the hand. Shit. If you want to do it, do it. Something about help giving. Somebody going to help you? Help giving. Receive. Time heals all wounds. Help giving. Receive. You know, it, you, it closed mouths don't get fed. I don't know. I don't know. Something you was resistant to. Something you delayed with. You canceling plans. You're taking your time with something. Or somebody's taking their time. Some type of discord dragging the feet. Impulsive hastiness. The Knight of Wands in reverse. Leo Sagittarius Aries energy. This is um something you emotional about, but you're stagnant with. Okay? Maybe you had an argument or some type of fallout with somebody and you tried to um avoid this fallout. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, Scorpio energy. You tried to avoid this fallout, but that shit didn't happen. And whoever this is, it's, it's ooh, some type of financial strain. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy. They're unhappy about money. Something about money is making somebody emotional. Queen of Pentacles. And you got the Queen of Cups. And then you got something about equal give and take. So I feel like somebody's trying to battle something with the Six of Pentacles. I don't know if it's overburdening you or something that's tying you out financially in a home. Or at work, or some someone's trying to get an equal give and take, and I feel like it's not an equal give and take. But then someone's thinking about somebody outside of, out, somebody's thinking about something 
or someone outside of something. This could be a mother, cousin, brother. I don't feel like there was an equal give and take or something. I feel like someone was taking more from you than they were giving. In a friendship or relationship, you was committed to this person. And something involving some money. Oh, you're trying to help somebody out. Or financial training, you, you need to get your money together. But watch your money. You're committed to getting your money together. But I feel like somebody's causing you financial strain. And that's Virgo towards Capricorn. I'm almost sure that it's a relative or a relationship. For some of you, it could be a job, but not for the very, very. I'm going to get formal. Oh, shit. You want to talk to somebody, but just get... Ooh. The Eight of Wands. Either somebody want to talk to you. See, it just jumped out of my face. Okay? Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy. Somebody wants to communicate with you, or you want to communicate with somebody. The Six of Cups in reverse is definitely feeling out of place. You feel like you're stuck in a rut, okay? And you're living in a stagnant... In a stagnant nostalgic energy you keep thinking about something you could have lied to somebody or somebody lied to you and they want to come in and talk about it because i'm getting like memory loss like why you acting dumb? like blah, blah. like you remember what the fuck you said if somebody wants to communicate that and then i got lack of progress planning and moving forward someone's not moving forward someone's wasting time with their talents being miserly okay i only have this pinnacle this small pinnacle to give and it's not a lot someone's worried about money Page of Wands is definitely um, coming in with a message or something really fast. Leo Sagittarius, Aries Energy. It could be something good. Oh, my nose ring. I'm sorry, y'all. I changed it today. It's irritating me. Um, and maybe you hear something or something. Someone hears something with you from the, with the moon card. I'm going to see why. This is the moon card. This is Cancer Energy. And this is also Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio Energy. This is something that someone could have heard from you. This is an illusion, a fear, some type of deception. Okay? Someone could have lied to you or you could have lied to someone. And I feel like it's coming back to bite someone in the ass. That's why that, that Mandy on. Someone needs somebody today because Mandy didn't, I don't know, Mandy didn't did something to your heart. Or maybe you, Mandy. Are you thinking about Mandy? I don't know who the hell Mandy is. Okay. Let me see what else I got. I'm going to get y'all four more cards. You can have cancer in your birth chart too for this to resume. It could be your rising sun, north note. Check those out. Hold on, y'all. Oh, yeah. You worried about a ten of cups. You want wish fulfillment with something, a person, a place. This is like a move, a happy, a marriage. This is like wish fulfillment, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. This is good luck, family, abundance, money. This is your energy. This is what's coming in for you. But I feel like you don't see it coming because you're worried about some money. You feel like you're not going to get the Ten of Cups because of this money situation. Or your your house, your house, your home is unhappy because, or your life is unhappy. And you're emotionally not fulfilled due to some money issues. Something can have you emotionally upset because you can't pay a bill. You can't do something with your kids or you can't go somewhere. Um, this is Virgo towards Capricorn energy. Uh, yeah, something about unemployment. Something about some, somebody's money is decreasing. And it's affecting their home life. Virgo towards Capricorn energy. Okay, some type of unemployment. Some type of something you tried to resist. And now I feel like it's lack of teamwork. So I feel like maybe your mate or your person feels like you're not putting in work or effort and you're not helping around the house and you're not pulling your weight with bills and you're not doing what the fuck you're supposed to. So somebody might want to detach and now they're becoming very uh, defensive. Okay, Capricorn, Cancer, Energy, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, Energy. This is definitely a defensive energy of detaching from something. Someone trying to see their way out. This is like disappointment. Someone being sad, stuck. Okay, this is a, a sun energy. This is Aquarius energy. This is stubborn. Ego before the pride. Lack of foresight. Not seeing forward because you're stuck in this energy and not working. I'm being stuck in money. The king of wands is definitely somebody could have been living. Um, this is impulsive, hasty. The king of wands in reverse is the double life. I don't know if you've been dealing with somebody. Maybe that's why they're calling for Mandy. This is ruthless. Somebody trying to take care of two households. I'm picking up. This is also uh, money hungry, double life. Like I said, yeah, king of wands. Feeling emotionally upset. Someone could have been trying to do two. Oh, shit. You got the King of Wands, the Page of Cups, and the King of Cups in reverse. This is all the way. All the way fucked up. Look at this. Somebody is, I don't know if it's y'all, but somebody sad as hell. The 14th, 14th on the clock. The King, like I said, double life line. This is, uh, somebody tried to manipulate you or you tried to manipulate somebody. And I think somebody was lying about what they was doing or what they was there or what they was doing. And they trying to come in and they... Now, there's some type of emotionally immaturity. Like, whoever this is is dealing with their emotions as a child. Because the Page of Cups is definitely an uh, upheaval of emotion, like a teenager, like throwing a tantrum. Oh, my God, they don't want to talk to me. They don't want me no more. That's what that is, cancer. Y'all going outside in the rain? Man, y'all going to be sick. I'm, I'm talking to the kids. Is it raining? It ain't raining hard. No, it says it's supposed to stop that 12 o'clock. 
Oh, okay. Okay. Well, try to be under something or in the hallway, at least till it stop. Okay. The, the last thing y'all want is a summer cold. At least stand in the hallway. It been raining here for days, so I know the kids will go outside. Um, there's some type of imbalance and discord you have. Some old grief, you're moving on, you've been arguing with somebody. This is acceptance, forgiveness. Okay, you got the five of cups, hood on, Odyssey. Okay. Um, five of cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. This is an emotional, um, e someone's emotionally imbalanced with the temper. Somebody's not balanced out. Someone's been arguing and they want to move on, they're stuck in grief. All right, Cancers, this has been your general read. Click like, subscribe, share me, come back and see me. I'm Phoenix Rising. Don't forget to click that like button, that subscribe button, and that notification bell. I'll be back with the rest of the love, uh, the rest of the general reads for today. I hope you guys enjoy. Till next time, I'm sending you love and light. Thanks for watching. Bye.